So in modern America, if you point out that biological sex is a physical reality, you can be fired from your job. The Washington Post will send a reporter to your house to intimidate you, but it doesn't change anything. Denying reality doesn't change reality. You could say gravity isn't real, but if you jump off the roof of your garage, you're still going to get hurt. And that's true for biological sex. It is, in fact, real, whether the authorities admit it or not. Officials in New Jersey are learning that lesson this week. Two female inmates at a supposedly all-women's prison in New Jersey have just become pregnant. You wonder how that happened. Well, it turns out those women had sexual encounters with another inmate who was a biological man passing as a woman. Now, some people predicted that this would happen, and they were laughed at, mocked, and attacked as bigots. Kara Dansky is at the very top of that list. She said this years ago on our show. She's the president of the U.S. chapter of the Women's Declaration International, author of the book The Abolition of Sex, How the Transgender Agenda Harms Women and Girls, and we are happy to have Kara Dansky back. Kara, thanks so much for coming on. I'll never forget... The first time, and it had to have been four, at least four years ago, when you said, if we keep going down this path, we're going to have biological men in women's prisons. And you were right. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. You know, though, the story that's happening in New Jersey is obviously horrible for so many reasons. We need to not have men being housed in women's prisons. But a couple takeaways from this that I just want to point out are, first of all, the state is not getting away with this by telling its residents that they are housing men in women's prisons. What they are doing, of course, is telling the residents that they are housing so-called transgender women or trans women in women's prisons, suggesting that there is some sort of subcategory of women that is called transgender women or trans women. And it's not true. The fact of this story shoots the it shoots a hole right through the trope that trans women are women. Our society has been taught that we are supposed to say and think that trans women are women. But obviously, that is not true because the individuals that are the focus of the story impregnated women and every thinking adult, no matter what the president of the United States has to say on the matter, knows that there is no category of women who can impregnate women. So I really want to thank you for highlighting this story. And I also just want to point out that this is not just a problem in New Jersey. This is a problem across the country. I know that we have talked previously about how the state of California recently enacted a law at the end of 2020, which went into effect in 2021, which mandates that men be housed in women's prisons on the basis of their so-called gender identity if they say that they are women. Washington state has a similar policy. However, this is not just happening in blue states. This is happening across the country. As far as I know, 49 states plus the District of Columbia have some form of law or policy in place that mandates the housing of men in women's prisons. Why is it left to you and J.K. Rowling and a couple of others to point this out? Where are the physicians who know perfectly well that what you're saying is true, the biologists who know it every bit as well? Why are they going along with this when they know it's a lie? So the entire medical establishment in the United States has been captured by so-called trans ideology. And what I really want all Americans across the political spectrum to understand is that trans is not a civil rights movement to protect a marginalized community of people. It is a multi-trillion dollar industry that is pushing this. It is paying the medical establishment. It is paying most media outlets. It is paying our government. It is paying our schools it is at, at all levels, elementary schools through college, to push the idea that material, the material reality of sex does not exist and that what is more important than the material reality of sex is so-called gender identity. This is all being pushed by a multi-trillion dollar industry in the guise of a civil rights movement. It's all a lie. And these are the people providing our medical care. It's really scary when you put it they that way. They are. Way. I, know someone, I know someone who is a medical student right now, and she is horrified about what's being taught. I do just want to say really quickly, there is something that has been announced in the past couple of weeks called the Women's Bill of Rights. This was drafted by members of the Women's Liberation Front and by members of Independent Women's Voices, supported by my organization, Women's Declaration International, as well as Concerned Women for America. And I really hope that one of the members of Congress introduces it. Thank you so much. I, I hope so, too. Great to see you. We'll be right back. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.